Welcome back everybody. Today we're somewhere ridiculous doing something crazy. As you may know, several of the Microsoft Flight Simulator updates have opened up gaping chasms, particularly in Brazil for some reason. Since I still can't fly under anything, I've been using these chasms as something of a challenge. These otherwise unexplained pits in the middle of Brazil have airports at the bottom of them. It's almost as though the airport altitude was entered in multiple thousands of feet lower than the surrounding terrain. Always up for a good challenge. I've been trying to land various aircraft at these. Today, we're taking a look at Lagoa Nova. This is the airport and glitch that PC Gamer famously described as a portal to hell. A recent update of Flight Simulator sank this airport thousands of feet into the ground. As you can see, I've been trying to land a Baron down there for more hours than I care to admit. I've even worked out a pretty good checklist for your standard approach into the abyss, and I can pretty regularly get my wheels on the ground, but I haven't been able to safely land it yet. And I think I understand why now. We'll talk about that in just a minute. By the way, if you like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm a pilot, a former air traffic controller, and I've been having a great time concocting challenges in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Every challenge that I do is completed on the highest difficulty settings using real life aerodynamic principles. As you can see, getting the Baron down to the bottom of that pit requires multiple instances of controlled stalls combined with speed and G-forces at the absolute edge of the operational envelope for the Baron. Well, I'm still working on getting the Baron down there, so I decided to give it a try with a Cessna Aerobat. Let's see how it goes. Okay, attempt number one. It always starts you out with your flaps down and even your landing gear and whatnot. Okay, I'm at 10,000 feet. I'm gonna need to work on my mixture here to get some Power from the engine. Ooh, too low. 2400. I'll take that. In my practice with the Baron, I know that you need to have the sunlight shining down in there to have any idea what you're doing down at the bottom. go. It never gets less daunting. Nose down. Gotta watch the airspeed on this thing. Oh geez. Now these walls are solid. As you get closer to the bottom they get a little bit more theoretical. But I can't touch the walls. That was a good, I like that. That kind of turn and then the rudder stomp to descend. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. See, I can't do that in a bigger, faster aircraft. We got a good descent rate going on here. Ah, oh, jeez. See the screen flashing. That's a pretty common thing, particularly as you get closer to the bottom. down. Gosh. That reflection. All the windscreen... All the windscreen and visual problems in here. Just a real, real pain. Stall warning horn. Getting close. If you get to the point where you lose all vision like that, Nose up, nose up. There we go. Oh, jeez. Last one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I'm still too high. I'm still too high. I got another one. Got another one. No problem. Ah. Whenever you lose all your vision like that, if you can get your nose up above the horizon, it'll come back. 
Avoid the ground. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah. Whew. Can't touch the walls. You absolutely cannot touch the walls right here. This is the hardest part. Flaps. What the heck? Ah, uh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Oh, no. Stop, 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 stop. Shit. Anyway. All right. Flaps up. Mixture. 30% was good. That'll be all right. Parking brake set. And by the way, who builds a wind turbine farm around a runway? This is like how not to build airports 101. I don't know if I had my parking brake set last time. Okay. Trying to continuously lose altitude without getting too fast. Tree four five nine or foxtrot on a circling final. And that is just crazy. If the world wouldn't go all wonky so you can see through the terrain as you get lower, this would totally be doable. Ooh. A little too close to the wall there. Oop, gain an altitude. Slip, slip. Flying a racetrack pattern here. I bet I could probably touch my wheels to the wall. Not doing it. Fast. Way fast. Oh, jeez. Way, way fast. Whew. All right. Lucky it held together that time. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh shoot, shoot. Okay. One more. Flaps. one. Here it is. Ah, oh, gosh, where is it? Where, oh, oh, oh. where is it? Where? Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll make it. We'll do, we'll do one more here, since I don't know exactly where I am. Where is it? Oh, jeez. Okay, give it some power. 50, 40. Power on stall right here. I don't know how low this runway is. Oh man, it is right there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Flaps. I got the parking brake still set. Don't touch the walls. But I gotta get, I gotta loosen. I'm gonna hit the dang wall again. Come on, get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Brakes. Keep it on the ground. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yes! Oh my gosh! I cannot tell you how long between the barren attempts and this. I mean, this was just a couple flights. Oh my gosh, no wonder I can't get the barren on the ground. Look at how uneven that runway is. I probably don't even, there's probably not even enough width for the Baron's wingspan. Oh man. Well, that begs some questions. Just to point out here, all the settings are on hard with the exception of ATC voices. No shenanigans. That was uh, done on the most realistic settings. You can see what happens down here. I mean, this is just a graphical glitch. Pretty interesting, really. And I mean, as long as they're not gonna 
let us fly under things. I mean, I'll take more like this. You know, maybe, maybe with every patch, just make three or four new portal to hell airports. I certainly don't mind flying into the Brazilian abyss, but I doubt that it's for everybody. For anybody keeping track at home, we went over the edge into the abyss at about 10,600 feet. I'm on the runway at the bottom at 2,700 feet. That was an 8,000 foot descent that had to be flown essentially within the confines of the runway dimensions, particularly at the lower altitudes. I've got some pretty bonkers video of the Baron doing it, but I haven't been able to land that one yet. Boy, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a Baron on the ground down here. I might have to load it up and taxi, the, see if I can even taxi the Baron around down here. We'll see, we'll see. I may end up putting together a blooper reel of just trying this with the Baron because of how crazy it is to see a really high-end twin-engine aircraft that can comfortably seat six flying around 8,000 feet below the ground. If you'd ever wondered what my nightmares look like, here you go. Alrighty, well, if you have any other challenges in mind or anything you'd like to see a real pilot do in Microsoft Flight Simulator, be sure to let me know in the comments or on Twitter. If you liked this, please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the rest of my airplane shenanigans playlist for inverted gliding, landing heavies in the mountains, airplane mechanic shenanigans, and of course more challenges coming in the future. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you next time.